Police say Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr. is being charged with deadly conduct. He is in the Bastrop County Jail on a $500,000 bond. On Monday, Peyton Washington from Stony Point High School in Round Rock and her three teammates were coming home after an out-of-town cheer practice in the Woodlands. They had left their cars in the parking lot of the HEB on 290 in Elgin. One of the girls mistakenly tried to get in the wrong car, and when she realized that, turned away to go to her actual car. But the suspect the first car opened fire. According to the affidavit, the store manager saw the suspect shoot at the car multiple times before driving off. Police were able to get his license plate number through surveillance video and tracked him down at his home, still wearing the same clothes as the time of the shooting. It was a harrowing night for all four of those girls. Advocacy group Every Town for Gun Safety commented on the shooting, speaking against gun violence, saying that students shouldn't have to fear for their lives coming home from practice. This comes as some Uvalde families testified at a community safety committee meeting Tuesday night. And you representatives are failing these communities in our state by choosing to use your own beliefs and personal gains to continue to make mistakes. You see, if the age limit would have been 21, my daughter, 18 of her friends, and two of her teachers would still be alive today. As the gun debate plays out in the Capitol, those who know Peyton say there's no question about her strength. She literally was born with one lung, so she from the very beginning as a baby, you know, she wasn't even expected to survive, let alone, you know, excel in athletics. So she's she's surpassed a lot of, of things already.